In this simple example, we have an array called names with three values, Kyle, Sally, John, and all we're doing is printing out the first value and we're printing out the last value. This is relatively simple code you do all the time, but the code for printing out anything from the end of the array, like the last value or second to last, is really annoying to write because you need to get the length of the array and you need to subtract one. It's a little bit of a pain to write, which is why JavaScript's created an at method that allows you to do the exact same thing you can do with brackets. So I could say dot at, and I could pass in, for example, zero, and that's going to get me the very first element or one is going to get me the second element but I can also pass in negative numbers. So I could pass in negative one and that's going to get me the last value or negative two is going to get me the second to last value. Now this is really useful since it saves you from having to write a lot of that boilerplate annoying code for getting things from the end of the array and I just like the syntax a lot.